Danny Kaufman. I'm the uh, district fire chief for the Conway County Fire Department, District 7, Center Ridge. Today, we received some uh, wildland firefighting gear from the Forestry Commission, water bags and some uh, lighter turnout gear than what we normally have to use when we fight fires, uh, and some leaf blowers so when it comes time to ext help extinguish the blaze, it's easier to move the fuel than it is to just to put the fuel out. All this equipment will be great for the fire department because shirts and the pants that we wear we get from the force is a lot lighter than a structure fire equipment. So when we're out there, when it's, you know, brush fires happen, you know, in the summertime, so lighter equipment, uh, the firefighters will be able to move faster, move better, and not get as hot. So when it comes time to finish the equipment, we're not as tired and we can cool off faster. The Volunteer Fire Assistance Grant is part of the U.S. Forest Service grant that we get each year. Um, Arkansas uses it to provide two different opportunities, one being training for wildland suppression and the other one being grant kits, which is our wildland grant kit that we have here in front of us. Um, in 2018, we were awarded $305,000 to cover both of those opportunities and $227,000 of that was used towards the grant kit itself. Um, on average of the 79 kits that we were able to award out, the average cost is about $3,400 for that. Each year, a volunteer fire department will have to make an application to their district forester, and that application is scored based upon um, the population in the area, the square miles in the area, um, their ISO rating can be considered for it. Uh, it really takes into consideration their needs and their funding. And so we try to reach those departments that are higher needs but um, have less funding available to them so that they can uh, be able to get this kit, this grant and this property that they need to be able to suppress those wildfires. And so in 2019 we're looking towards having it available in August or September time frame for the eligibility application which pushes us back actually into 2020 to be able to distribute it um, again in the springtime. The amount of equipment we had prior to this was minimal and this just adds to our inventory to give us uh, more equipment to fight the fires with.